spell drew me relentlessly toward the river. I knew then that this was to be my last night on earth. I had the feeling that no one would care whether there was one less mouse in the world or not. Saved! Snatched from a watery grave! Why? Who? Someone did care, and I had to find out who it was. <laughs> Lo and behold, before me stood a king-sized mouse. He was as big and as strong as the cause of my misery. Sylvester the cat. Sylvester the cat. That gave me an idea. I explained my problems, and he agreed to help me. So we started back to my house of terror. by no mouse, so get in there and turn out the mouse. Things big. You need glasses. 
Here, put these on. Now, when you sees that the mouse is teeny, you'll get your self-respect back. Now, walk right in and take over, cat. Nobody hits a guy with glasses on. Of course, I could be wrong. Well, no use sending a boy on a man's job. Now, don't you start anything or I'll grow big and kick you out. Oh, yeah? Grow big, then. It's a good trick, Mouse, but it won't save you. Well, go ahead. Kick me out. I dare you. And if you come in again, I'll pin your ears back. Any time a mouse can pin my ears back, I'll take up ballet dancing. Well, I see you got your ears pinned back. Come on, cat. We're taking up ballet dancing.